All right, so this problem wants us to find the slope of the line tangent, right? Slope of the tangent line to this specific curve here at this specific x value. So at x equals one third. So what this is problem is telling you to do when you see that slope of the line tangent, that's your derivative at a point. So derivatives give us the slope of the tangent line at a specific point. So what they're asking us to find in this is they want us to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals one-third. So really we're trying to find y prime of one-third right now. We are given the equation y equals the arc tangent of 3x. So at this point in the process, you're either freaking out because you did not memorize the arc tangent special case derivative, or you're feeling like this is a super easy problem because you have it memorized. So those inverse trig functions, a lot of people think, ah, they're not going to show up. They do show up. So make sure you have those memorized. So this is what I refer to as a special case derivative. So these are derivatives we just have to have memorized. And so our special case derivative on this problem is for arc tangent. So if f of x equals the arc tangent of x, the derivative of the arc tangent of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So again, if you have it memorized, not a problem. If you don't, maybe a problem. So the one thing to remember with all of these special cases is that as soon as this basic x is something anything more than just an x. So once that's anything more than just your basic x, so that could be 3x, that could be negative x. As soon as it's more than just a basic x inside there, it's a chain rule problem because they took something, another equation, and they plugged it into this one. So when you're doing the chain rule, the chain rule saying, the chain rule recipe that I use is d in times d out. The derivative of whatever got plugged into that simple equation times the derivative of the outside of that equation. Coming over here and looking at our problem, we have that happening, right? We've got a 3x sitting inside there, and so we definitely need to follow our chain rule process, our chain rule derivative. So like I told you earlier, it's d in, d out is the recipe I have memorized. So I start by taking the derivative of the inside piece, what got plugged into this equation. So the inside piece is 3x, so creating my y prime of x equation, the derivative of the n, the derivative of 3x would just be 3. Now I need to multiply that by the derivative of the outside. So the derivative of the outside is this arctangent derivative. It's this little rule right here. And so what we end up with is 1 over 1 plus, but not just x squared. Remember, our x was a 3x. So this is going to boil down to 3x squared. So, you know, whatever they replaced x with up top there, you end up needing to replace that in this definition as well. So there's our derivative. And now that we've got the derivative, now we're ready to go ahead and find what we were looking for, which is what's the derivative value at x equals one third. So kind of just sliding this onto the top to make our lives easier. This would be three over one plus, and then we'd have three. And instead of x inside here, we're plugging in our one third and then that's squared. Cleaning this up, we still have a 3 on top. On the bottom, we have 1 plus 3 times 1 third. The 3s cancel out. That becomes 1 squared. So really what we're looking at here is 3 over 1 plus 1, which is going to give us 3 over 2. So y prime, our derivative at x equals 1 third, the slope of our tangent line is three halves. And so then you just go up top, find your answer, and you're good to go. This problem though, remember, the linchpin was you gotta have those special case derivatives memorized, especially those inverse trig ones. Don't sleep on those. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.